I left Vianjun on an overnight bus ride to Savannah Kit. I suggest buying two tickets or else you will be sleeping with a stranger as you can see how small these bus beds are. I got into Savannah Kit as the sun was rising. I was anxious for this moment because it was the first time meeting my extended family from Laos. They are from my mom's side and she hasn't seen them since fleeing the country post Vietnam War. It was an indescribable experience seeing our family connect over FaceTime and see each other for the first time since 1992. The first thing they talked about was how old each other has gotten. We introduced each other to all the kids and cousins. Tears started flowing from both sides with this virtual reunion. By the end of the call, my cousins decided to take me back to their village to see what it was like to live in Laos. <laughs> This is my cousin Su Sang Tong. Sang Tong, Sang Tong. Y'all, I met my cousin. This is Su Kalapao. Manba Kalapao. His name's Kalapao. I like Kalapaos. <laughs> All the transportation in Laos is a pickup truck with a bench seating and covering, and it took us a few hours to get to their village. Growing up, I didn't have a big family, so it was a dream come true to meet my extended family. Okay, so I did not know what true banok meant until now. With the cousins, we're in our bamboo hut and it took us like two hours to get here. This is a wild experience. Well, sabaydi, sabaydi. As I was looking at their house, I saw they hung up photos of me and my siblings that my mom sent to them. Some of the villagers came by and wanted to meet me and they also made me a very traditional Lao meal. I am two hours away from Savanakit. It is in the Sino area. This is where my aunt lives with our other cousin's family, uh, daughter, a lot of kids, a lot of cows. So you can see here, it's like a fire pit. And then we have a basement upstairs, another house, another house being built here, and a third house being built here. It's a really cool area. Um, there's just a lot of sensory overload, a lot of things are going on, but this is true Banak style. And so I'm gonna show you all the cows. Where are the cows? Right there, the cows, cows, calves, everything you can dream of. Wow, so neat. The right photo is my little cousin Galabao, and I could not help see the resemblance to me when I was a kid. Since I had a short stay, my cousin started preparing a Lao evening meal with some fresh chicken. Once the sun went down, only the lights they had were the ones that were attached to their head. All the villagers came over and held a basi for me, giving me wishes and blessings for a safe and healthy trip. The morning came, I had to say my goodbyes to everyone. <laughs> my cousin took me back via motorcycle and it was much faster than the truck. I gave them some of my favorite shirts as a farewell. I had a few extra days left in Savannah Kit, so I decided to make all those days all about food. And so I went to this restaurant that was right on the river and ate some Lao food. I am at the Savannah Kit Night Market, as you can see right here. And behind me is all the stalls where you can get all types of food, fruit smoothies, all the types of thumb you want. And, well, let's go take a look. 
That scene was very popular in Laos. I loved walking around Savannah Kit, seeing so much traditional Lao food, and I actually had the best tham mua in this area. Around the city, you will come across many food hubs selling traditional Lao stews. <laughs> As the last day approached, I got word that my cousins were coming back into the city because one of them was having health issues. So I decided to keep them company at the hospital and it was a coincidence that day that my mom was also having a surgery so we got to FaceTime. While we were waiting outside of the hospital, my aunt shared her meal she brought from home with us. As the sun went down, I said my last goodbyes as I was leaving the city the next morning.